Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. I um, want to start by making sure you've seen our the couple of emails now that have gone out about the 30 days of love. Um, this week's theme is democracy and voting rights. Um, there are four weeks and four different themes um, and there are some really rich materials in there. Um, so I put them together in an email that went out on Sunday um, and I hope that you're getting a chance to engage with some of those. And if you are, I'd love to hear about it um, and hear uh, what you're doing and what you're reflecting on and how, how you're engaging with those. Um, the 30 Days of Love is an annual tradition that our, our um, UUA uh, puts on. It's a celebration from uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day to Valentine's Day, recognizing our social justice priorities and inviting us into deeper reflec reflection and work around them. Um, so uh, there'll be two more weeks um, with two different themes and I'll be sending those out again um, so that you can engage with them and let me know if you are. Uh, this week we've got a few things coming up. Um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. is our um, drop-in grief group with Karen Campbell. That is open to adults who are experiencing any kind of grief. Um, and Karen offers a really um, safe, nurturing place for you to bring that grief um, and to be with others. Uh, so that is tomorrow, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, and if you want the Zoom link, you can reach out to Karen. On uh, this Sunday, um, we're going to be recognizing uh, Reproductive Justice Sunday. Um, it is, we just passed uh, the anniversary of uh, Roe versus Wade, and uh, there's a lot of turmoil about the future of Roe v. Wade and the future of reproductive justice um, in our state and in our country. So we'll be um, talking about that, uh, talking about where our faith lies um, in that conversation um, and I hope you'll join me um, for that. I think it's a, it's a really important and relevant um, topic for this moment. Also on Sunday, um, our youth are gathering for Zoom games at 1 p.m. You can reach out to our youth advisors for information about that. Um, but they're going to have, have some fun on Zoom, 1 p.m. this Sunday. Uh, on next week, February 2nd, um, so next Wednesday at 7 p.m., uh, we have a new program starting. It's going to be a monthly drop-in um, spiritual sharing circle. Um, it will be led by, um, by Karen Campbell and I think Eileen Herring as well. Um, and they're really excited to offer this. Um, and, and I'm just going to read you a little bit of what, what they say about it. Um, With the understanding that we are spiritual beings having human experiences, we will gather to share thoughts, concerns, and ideas. The circle will meet on the first Wednesday of each month. Um, and... Uh, and so if you are interested in being a part of that, um, you can uh, reach out to Karen Campbell to receive the Zoom link for the month. Um, and it is drop-in, so you can um, come one month and not come the next. So uh, check it out. I think it'll be a really, uh, sounds like it'll be a really powerful group. Um, on February 5th, so next Saturday, not this Saturday, but a week from this Saturday, is our next Faith Formation Family Hour. Um, and that's when our, um, our kids can get their monthly packets and families can engage in some activities um, here at the church. Um, it'll probably be primarily outdoors, but we'll see where things are at COVID-wise um, then. Um, and that's at 1 p.m. And if you are one of our Faith Formation families, you can watch your email for more information about that. Uh, but make sure you save the date, February 5th at 1 p.m. Um, and coming up in February and early March is the um, a series of tea talks. They're uh, called the Eleanor Williams Hooker Tea Talks, and they happen every year, put on by the Black Heritage Trail of New Hampshire. 
Um, and this year they're calling the series Courageous Conversations, Leaning In for Change. Um, and they're all both virtual and in-person. Um, the in-person is in Portsmouth, um, so I'm guessing most folks would want to join them virtually, um, but they are all avail available virtually. They're Sundays from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. for six weeks, from February 6th to March 13th. And there's a whole variety of great topics that they've got folks um, speaking on, presenters speaking on. I think they're mostly panels. Um, and the first one is about divisive concepts, um, uh, which has been a hot button topic here in New Hampshire um, and what it means to teach divisive concepts um, and how that changes the way we teach history and whether or not we should be regulating that. Um, uh, so uh, if you want to come hear some folks, um, uh, people from, someone from the New York Times, someone from the New Hampshire Historical Society, someone from Portsmouth Middle School. So it's a whole range of folks who are going to be talking um, on that issue. And the, the panel is called Divisive Concepts, A Chilling Effect on Teaching History. So that's the first one on February 6th. Um, and I'll be highlighting some more of those as we go along. But um, And I'll put the link in the comments to where you can find more information about that series. It looks really, really excellent. I know they've been really excellent in the past. And this looks like a really, really great series of talks put together. Um, and finally, I um, there will be no announcements next week. I'm going to be on study leave um, attending a virtual conference um, of ministers. Uh, so uh, no announcements next week. Um, and I will also be um, mostly off email next week except for emergencies. So um, I will be with you for the rest of this week. And then next week, Monday through Friday, I will be um, taking some time to uh, be with my colleagues virtually and do some learning. Um, that's what I've got for this week. Uh, and um, I hope you're hanging in there and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, hopefully this Sunday.